So hello guys, I am um, I just thought I would come and have a sit down with you. I originally wanted my setup to be really chilled, relaxed, and I'm not about I like I'm not mad at harsh lighting. I think for me, for my face, it's flattering, but for me, just to sit here throughout. It's just a bit much. I wanted to sit here on my bed and make it all nice and cosy. But instead, we are still on the bed, but just not where I wanted to be because the sun is just a bit bright right now. But yeah, I just wanted to come and just have a little chat, really. Um, now I'm sat here, I'm like, what did I come to chat about? But uh, this morning, I woke up and done Pilates it was amazing i found recently like maybe in the past couple weeks i had a really nice little cycle i'd wake up i'd do my journaling and then i'd do my yoga um and that was like key for me i was doing my shake it out dances if you follow me on instagram you'll know what i'm about if you don't i suggest you go and follow me on that and you'll see my morning dances actually i haven't done one today maybe i'll go and do one um but yeah so um for me i just needed to get a bit more of a routine again so i woke up this morning i had pilates at eight and then what did i do i trimmed ashley's hair because he was going to work so, and he tried to do it himself he should never try and do it himself but anyway so i sorted that and then i took a shower and then i had to send over some pictures for a client um some with mascara some without mascara and it was really interesting. The client messaged me back and asked if I'd ever had like any fillers or anything done, which in the old days, like it was never even a question. Like I never ever got asked like if my lips were real, if I've had fillers, but because of like the trend currently going on, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, it's all personal preference. And um, yeah, so that was fun. Um, I haven't had any fillers, if you're wondering. I'm natural, 100% natural. You can. That's why I, I like. I keep my little, uh, my little uh, wonky tooth because I really enjoy imperfections. Like I love, I love shit like that. Like I love it when people aren't perfect. Like I've never been that girl. That's my hair is always like, like done to perfection because perfection is different to each individual and I just I just want to be like you know I like imperfection I think the powerful so if you have an imperfection and you're insecure about it I'm telling you right now I think you are perfect the way you are and it's only your insecurity and just work on it oh yeah I remember what I came to say I came to talk about manifestations and affirmations and just stuff like that. So, I just say I have so much to say to you guys. God damn it. Um, so yeah, I've had questions. Well, I done like a little Instagram thing on my stories and asked you guys what you would like me to film. One of you said uh, a Jap remake a Japanese meal, which will be super fun. We have no ingredients in, so I need to go and get that. But I am going to do that. But some of you asked me to share some advice about um, manifestation and stuff like that. So, my background with manifestation. Um, when I was young, my dad always told me that I can do anything that I want to do in life. So, I've always came from that kind of background. Believe it, you can achieve it. Um, I think that was my mum's. My mum made that up for for her old school, I think. Um, but yeah, my dad used to walk around and say things like, people like to give me money. Um, so it's always affirmations and manifestation. I've always just <clears throat> been in my life ever since I was a young girl. I've, had, I've got amazing parents and they literally have always told me, it's up to me what I want to be in my life. I create my life and that is it. So it's always been like a strong part of me, but recently I've started to investigate it a lot more. And by investigating it more, I just, I'm a lot more curious about it. Like I'm starting to understand it all and like that we are a vibration and we attract things to us on the same vibrational frequency as me. It really makes sense to me. So 
there's that and um so with the positive affirmations like just like two things that i can just rhyme off the back of my back that's came and happened in a month maybe about last month i started breaking out really bad again and it was to a point and i was like god damn it am i gonna have to go on roaccutane again like it was getting that bad it was stressing me out i went into the shower and just cried and like you know when it's just i've had bad skin on and off for since i came off the contraceptive pill which is another video i need to make because lots of you are asking me questions about that but um yeah it's just been something i've been dealing with on and off i've been on roaccutane three times so i just was thinking what is happening it can't happen again um and then yeah so i started saying affirmations to myself I, what i would say into the mirror and i was doing my skincare if i was in the shower if i was doing the dishes if i was doing housework i just and i was scripting it down as well i just constantly repeat i'm so happy i'm so grateful that i have clear skin i'm so happy i'm so grateful that i have clear skin and within three days three days guys my skin started to clear up it's also to do with um, diet I took an intolerance test and um, yeah I took an intolerance test and it came back my high activity foods that I was eating tomatoes peanuts coconuts and apples they were all highly active for me in my stomach in my in my body everybody is different so don't think that this is going to help you because it helped me the affirmations affirmations will help like if you really start to convince yourself that you have good clear skin you'll get good clear skin I'm, i believe that 100 percent on the dietary requirements and stuff like that everybody is different if you have any any doubt that you might have any sensitivities um go and do a test i just sent a hair strand if you want to know what test i did personally let me know and i will actually reach out to the brand and see if I can get you a discount code or anything like that. So just let me know. I paid for it 100% and they always have deals on so. But I would like to try and help you guys in any way possible. So I can do that if you'd like me to. But yeah. So um, when we got the juice cleanse. I don't know if you remember. I don't know why I did it. I know don't order a juice cleanse Chloe. But something got in my head. And I ordered a juice cleanse for me and Ashley. It came... And literally we were like, we're not going to do this. Like, I, my body needs to eat more than 300 calories a day. Like, what are you thinking, Chloe? But anyway, I believe, like, just eat intuitively, by the way, if you're wondering. But yeah, um, and in these juice cleanses, there were a lot of apple in them. And I started to drink them. And that's when my skin started to break out. So I cut the apples out and positive affirmations three days in guys my skin started to clear up and look at it now i have this from my glasses which drives me nuts does anyone else have this from your glasses if you have any way for me not to get it i've changed my glasses but then i put glasses on that I thought it didn't happen but you can see like you know where they've just sat on my skin but anyway i can deal with that and uh, if i get like one or two around here 100 percent perfect like and a spot here and there is 100% normal but yeah I've cured my acne which is the best thing and yeah and another thing I'm singing that um I'm gonna try and sing it for you but I always forget with the covers on ching 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 goes the money tree and every time a ching money comes to me it all flows in from abundantly from the top right left and upon to me a way way wave of a money wave money from money go money made flowing in and out plus money saved debt 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 all that is paid how good is that song it's super catchy but anyway started singing that song and i just been getting booked loads so ching 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 goes the money tree so yeah there's two examples with manifestation um positive affirmation make sure you're doing it all day every day guys like you know so say if you want more money instead of saying oh i don't have money ma 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 be like i have money money is coming to me money is abundant i live in financial freedom money comes money goes like it's all guys it will honestly change you change you so there's a little bit about um affirmations 
and manifestations and some of you guys wanted some modeling tips and advice for becoming a model so with that i would also say affirmations i am so happy and so blessed that my dreams have come true and i am now modeling for brands fashion brands whatever you want to do beauty brands um yeah name some clients that you want to work for say that you've been booking jobs with them capiche manifestation again so you'll attract that you're telling the universe you want it so it'll come and also um, a more practical like I wouldn't say practical but a more hands-on approach is I would recommend anyone that wants to become a model I'd recommend taking um, Polaroids Polaroids are just pictures you can either be in underwear if you're not comfortable in underwear um, tight clothes vest top skinny jeans that's like standard um, Polaroid things, outfits, um, if you're unsure just google model Polaroids, actually I'll put my Polaroids up here for you, um, minimal makeup if any makeup, I tend to put a little bit of concealer or a little bit of highlight just to make me look a bit dewy, my eyebrows, maybe a little bit of mascara, uh, it just depends who, which client is asking for the Polaroids, what the client has recommended, like I've just done um, some Polaroid selfies for a beauty client and they've asked for a picture with mascara on and a picture without my mascara on just selfies just basic pictures so yeah uh, that and I would just send them round to any agencies you can go on um, agencies uh, you have to be pretty wary with agencies but if it is something you're interested in drop me a message um in the chat in the in the chat in the comments below or if you want to go on my instagram send me a dm on instagram i'm always there to help people even if it's just mental health or whatever is up um i can be there for you to chat to no judgment so yeah you can message me on there and then i will send you some agencies that are good agencies, safe agencies, um, they're all around the world, some of the top ones that have agencies pretty much everywhere to be honest, they have them in Stockholm, LA, um, where else, Miami, London, Paris, Milan, um, Stockholm, oh, I don't know if I said that, all, all of these ones, it's like Elite, that's always a good one, so there's Elite Models, Star Models, Select Models, these are like the really big modeling agencies and under them you get other modeling agencies, I'm currently with um, Jadar Models in Manchester, they're my mother agent, uh, in London I'm with MOT Models in um, Milan, I'm with one called Power, PWR, I think, I'm presuming they call it Power, maybe they call it PWR. Um, in Stockholm, I am with Lee Management. Um, in Germany, I'm with Linked Models International. And yeah, so there is so many model agencies. Um, but yeah, you can always message me and I can help you find one if you want. So that was just a little sit down chat. This is screaming at me now. So all females, you please can you go and buy Shakti Woman. Like I am not even that far in. This is how far in I am currently right now. And it just blows my mind. It makes me feel so powerful and so strong and so glad someone um, in the apartment block over the road for me looking at me like, why is it? <laughs> I feel like people will be like, because I often, this light in here, it's like before 12 p.m. right now, so before dinner time, like late morning kind of vibe, um, the sun is mainly in this room and then it goes into our living room, so if I'm doing anything at this time, I'm like taking pictures, Polaroids, whatever I need to do in natural lighting, I'm in here, um, but yeah, there's a guy over the road just looking at me and he's probably like, what, what is she doing? I'm sure they're getting used to me by now. I've been here for about five months maybe, maybe a bit longer. I know. But yeah, anyway, this book is amazing. It just talks about like 
you know in the western world we think that periods are a pain in the ass pretty much a nuisance we shouldn't have them they're annoying males don't like women being on a period because we get moody or we have mood swings or anything like that always having another look again <laughs> but yeah so this book just explains like it just it's empower empowering female book like it's just so powerful it's just about our history of being female and the rituals that people used to have about, have about cere rituals ceremonies about period about like a first woman's period when you know like your first period that you get as a female maybe you're in high school or something like that everyone's different um but yeah it explains about ceremonies that people used to do for them it talks about uh menopause um it's just like oh powerful man and it's got like little diagrams in from history um of goddesses and stuff like that and i just i just can't stress it enough everyone needs to go and buy it another thing i'm just gonna go through things in this vlog so it's like a chatty vlog not vlog a sit down with me vibe um another thing i see that people are still watching my video when i came off the contraceptive pill and people are wondering what i use for contraception this is my baby um you you don't have to use this like this is um it's not cheap uh but it lasts forever and it just does all of the hard work for you. You can chart your period. There's so many apps on your phone you can get right now that tell you when you're ovulating, when you're not ovulating. But yeah, this is what I use. This is called a lady comp. Um, it's a bit, I need to get it sent away to get fixed. It's got mask, masking tape on it right now because I'm a bit rough with it. Um, but yeah, so I just use this. It just, if you click on it, this is the time it wakes me up every morning i set an alarm um the red is days that i can get pregnant the green um i can't get pregnant amber uh, i only get one amber light a month that's before after my period so yeah these days i can't get pregnant these days i can get pregnant so be careful use uh, contraception uh, like a condom or something or just use the pull out method and then yeah green lights and then you track your your menstrual cycle i love it you can do it all by taking your temperature and charting it down and stuff like that that's um get the book taking charge of my fertility yeah and with the lady comp you can actually change it so when we want to try and have a baby i can change it to baby mode and then it tells me when I'm most fertile, when I can get pregnant, when I can't get pregnant, when's the best time to try and get pregnant. So I just leave this next to my bed. It wakes me up at eight o'clock every morning, but normally I'm I'm awake by then. If I'm not awake by then, the alarm goes off. And uh, yeah, I'm up. I stick it this temperature underneath my tongue. Uh, and then tells me that my temperature every morning it's also really handy with covid and everything going around because i know what my temperature is every day i know if i've got high temperature and i'm starting to feel sick then oh shit maybe something's not very not not going the best for me but that doesn't happen because because i don't allow it because my vibrations i'm never going to get sick so yeah oh yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this chat guys um let me know if you want more of these and yeah i'm gonna carry on with my weekly vlog now so make sure you go ahead and watch that but otherwise spread peace spread love and thank you all for watching it means so much to me and yeah if you like it subscribe give it a like let me know in the comments down below do whatever you want to do and yeah one thing guys like be a blessing but most importantly be a blessing to other people's life go on right now and tell someone you love them make them a cup of tea just give them some love and put a smile on their face because giving is giving and giving is receiving and it's just a cycle and just love love guys 
Tchau, tchau.